this is the game between Adolf Patterson versus Samuel Rosenthal. It was played in Vienna, eighteen seventy-three. So let's start. White plays e four. Black plays e five. Knight f three. Knight c six. Bishop c four. Bishop c five. And then b four. He wants gambit again. Bishop cross b four. C three attacking the bishop. Bishop has to move. Bishop a five. D four. E cross d four. And then short castle. So d3. Okay, he thinks that okay, I will not allow the opponent to capture and then have very good center over here. Okay, and second he says okay, if I take, then what happens? I'm losing some time in you know capturing and nothing is happening. Plus this queen can come out faster, you know, over here or attack. So I don't want to do that. But the thing is, you know, if you move a pawn, what is happening? The problem is you are moving first of all pawn which cannot attack so many squares. Second, you are moving same thing, so you are not developing another thing which is not good, and that's why d three is not a good idea. Anyway, after that, what happened? Queen b three. So white has now. Attack this f7 with two pieces. B bishop on c4, queen on b b3, and only one support. So black has to do something to save it. So black did this. Queen f6. Now what to do? Rook e1. Okay. So the idea is when the opponent has the king in the center, he should attack. In the center, okay. You should play more moves in the center. Mostly, you have to move the pawns and open the files by exchanging the pawns. For that, you need some supports. So the rook came on that same file, okay. It's a good thing. So rook e one, knight g e seven. Now black understood the problem and black said, "I'll do castle, and I don't want any attack uh, to this side." Now bishop g5 attacking the queen, queen g6, and then bishop cross e7. So what happened now? Uh, the bishop has captured. He has to capture with something, either with the knight or with the king. Now he thought if I take with the knight, knight is coming ahead and giving me some problems, right? So he said no. I'll keep this knight over here to. Protect this square e five square. So he says, okay, I'll just take it with the king. Though I cannot do castle, I'll stop the attack somehow. So he's thinking like that. But now white knows how to attack. If your king, if your rook is there, opponent's king is on that file. The best way is to like to attack is to move the pawn, open the file. Okay, move the pawn, exchange it, open the file, and you can attack to that king very well. So e five, king moved or uh, to f eight. He wanted to get the rook out, but he doesn't have that much time. And he thought the problems will increase if I keep the king on uh, this e seven square. Knight b d two. See, so these good players, you know, they don't forget to develop their pieces. The problem with the beginners, you know, they uh, get the chance to move the pieces ahead. Two three pieces. They have uh, the, on very good squares. They are giving some threats, but afterward they think that that's the only thing they have to do. They cannot just you know keep the other. I mean move other pieces. They just keep on moving the same pieces again and again. We shouldn't do that. We have to develop more and more pieces as early as possible in the opening. So if you have now the chance to develop more, you should. So now nothing special is happening. How do you know? You have to think the five rules. Which are the five rules? Can I get something free? Can my opponent get something free? Can you give check? Can the opponent give check? And why did my opponent play the last move? Either it can be a good move or a bad move. But I should know what what is happening. So you have to think, and then you'll understand what exactly is happening. Here he has continued his development. Nothing special. Give support. You control this square, giving support to this. So that's the thing. Okay, so knight b two, 
then bishop b6 bishop was not doing anything here attacking the c3 pawn which already has support so no use of that bishop on a5 so he has decided to move the bishop somewhere else and now he is happy that the bishop is on the same diagonal of the opponent's king it's a good idea to have your rooks or the queens on the same file of the opponent's king or the queen and the bishop on the same diagonal of the opponent's king so here knight e4 okay what was the move this is the move he played knight e4 the idea is to uh, get the pieces ahead to do more and more here now knight d8 okay he thought i will block it i'll give support to this so knight d8 and now here he has played that move okay which you wanted to like queen a3 check so now which are the options let's see uh, can you play bishop c5 the answer is no there is no support yeah can you play c5 still the answer is no you can capture capture and then take extra point is going plus the same situation he has played king e8 and now it is white's turn white to play and here it's white to play mating for us. White to play mating for. We'll see this now. First move, white can do this one. Okay, giving sacrifice. Knight f6 check. He has to take it. If you if you don't, the king can't go anywhere. So you have to take it. E cross f6 now, and it's a check by the rook. So the king is attacked. What to do? You have to block it. And uh, if you play knight e6, what will happen? Queen e7 is a checkmate. So that is not helping. If you play bishop e3, you can simply capture or you can just simply do checkmate again. So that is not helping. So what to do? Maybe queen e4. But then simply white can capture. And now whatever you do, again, the same checkmate. 